Where did you learn how to work so hard? Well, I learned at a young age on the farm. My father uh, encouraged me to get a job away from the farm, and I started working for a mason contractor. And after working there for a few years, that's when the agriculture boom was of the late 60s. And area farmers started calling me about building uh, milking parlors and uh, right. dairy barns. I, I met Les out on the farm with his dad uh, farm and his dad farmed tobacco and stuff and I'd go out every now and then and work on the farm and that's how I met Les. The farm-based masonry work quickly expanded into residential construction. To help manage the accumulating clients, Les joined forces with friend and skilled tradesman Dale McCoy creating the partnership Whitmer McCoy in 1967. I remember being a little kid being hauled over there. Go oh, keep yourself busy and you and Gladys and Dale and it was like a business meeting that went on and I was had to fiddle fat all around and stay out of your hair for a couple hours. <laughs> and fall asleep there and then get hauled home. Right. So you remember that? I do. Oh my yep. goodness. Yep. I never imagined in my wildest dream with about 90 employees to over 200 employees today, Todd. Mm -hmm. I had never even imagined that that was possible. It's amazing to see the Whitmer Group grow. When I first came 25 years into Whitmer and McCoy, we were probably less than half the size that we are today. The family values that built and grew the business remained paramount to its success. A management team was assembled, new technologies were engineered to aid in operations and finance, and in 1990, son Todd Whitmer joined the force with a vision for the future. I'm not sure I ever even told you this, but thought, well, I'll go give this a shot, and if in a year I don't really like it, uh, I can always go find something else to do. And I got here, and I'll tell you what, after a couple months I saw all the opportunities, and realized you know, that uh, there was just plenty to challenge me with, and I think the rest is history. Today, the business is called the Whitmer Group. The team has fostered excellence in four divisions covering new masonry, masonry restoration, waterproofing, and coatings. The 200 men and women that are part of the family are growing alongside them. I feel as though I've really grown as an individual, as a father, as a friend, and as a professional. The culture that we have here is one of respect, it's one of accountability, and we reward those that do put in the hard work and take the time and put forth the effort to improve themselves and help improve the company. What really makes the Whitmer Group are our employees. They're our most valuable asset. Working for the Whitmer Group is like working for a family. Uh, I love my job. I'm just very appreciative of the founders of this company and the original employees of this company because they're the ones that really established the mindset. They're the ones that established the values, the tradition of excellence within the company and that's something that we want to make sure that we continue for the next 50 years. I think we're developing an organization rather than just a family business. So I see the business moving ahead organizationally and being highly successful, uh, whether that transcends beyond our family. I wish Whitmer the happiest 50th anniversary, and I wish him luck, good luck for many, many more. I want to thank our employees, our customers, and our clients for making our first 50 years a success. You've shared in our evolution and reinforced standards of excellence and have made all of us successful.